Hi, I'm Josh with SemiconductorStore.com, and today we have a really exciting interview. We're going to look at robots and some wireless technology. I'm very excited for this one. We're going to look at a device called the ICON. The ICON stands for Internet Connectivity. I've got on the call right now Floyd and Dennis from Amtec Technologies. Floyd and Dennis, welcome to the video. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, welcome. Hi, I'm Floyd. Floyd. Where are you guys from today, and walk us through what I, the, your Amtec Technologies company is all about? Uh, this is Dennis. This, I'm Floyd. Uh, we are from, uh, with Amtec Technology from Toronto, Canada. Great. So walk us through, what does Amtec Technologies do? Uh, we do design services. Uh, we do system consulting and managing uh, contract manufacturing. Great. Um, why talk to us about what the icon is before we look at it? What is it, and what does it do? And then also, why did you invent it? Why did you create this product? Yeah, uh, when we look at the consumer market or the industrial uh, control market, um, people are, are moving towards the wireless. Um, they don't want to get bound by the, the cable or roll any more cable. Yeah. Uh, so. So we want that, that's how the M to M and Internet of Things of phenomena is uh, becoming a trend. So we want to get into that uh, market, and uh, we look at a single board computer. Um, there are this the low end one and the high end one, and there seems to be a gap in between. Um, that's where we think we can fit in with some wireless capability. Great. Hey, can you show us some use cases of the icon and show us exactly how it works? I think this is the most exciting part. This is really awesome. Okay, sure. So here, if you can see right here, we have a, a 4.3 inch LCD screen. And I'm just running a small drawing application on it. Yeah. And you can just see from here, draw a little tic-tac-toe. And this is one of the demos that you can actually see it. And, and now, just to be clear for our viewers, the icon board is there uh, in the middle of the screen. Point to the icon board so everybody knows exactly what your product so is. This right here is the icon board. Great. And then uh, that display is a separate piece that's this running is the on the... Piece of the, the board. Yeah, great. Now, okay, so we've got a display, uh, tactile feedback. That's awesome. Walk us through what is the iPad plus the mechanical arm, the robot? Okay, the... Here we have the robotic arm, and you can control this robotic arm wirelessly through a BOA web server that's running off the icon board. Okay, so here this iPad that we have, I have yeah. it connected to the server that's being outputted from the icon board. Great, move it around. Show us how it works. So, yeah, so I, right here I can just turn it around just by clicking some buttons. And so for everybody that's watching, the the iPad is communicating via Wi-Fi wirelessly to the icon board. The icon board is hardwired to the robotic arm and hardwired yeah. to the display, as you can see. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, awesome. That's very cool. Very, very, probably the best use case I've seen, kind of fun use case. This is really <laughs> cool. Um, all right, let's move into the next question. So you showed us some of your use cases. You um, Give us a brief run through of some of the hurdles you had inventing the icon or developing it. Um, on the hardware side, I guess the, the hurdle will be uh, picking the right uh, wireless module uh, and also determine uh, the, the wireless technology we want to go into. Uh, we look at uh, Zigbee and some other proprietary radio, and um, they all require an uh, extra piece of hardware in order to bridge the IP network. So we, we decide to stick with the good old technology Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Yep. And uh, and then we have to evaluate uh, different uh, module, different type of module from different vendors, and find the right size, uh, right price, and the flexibility that we want for our icon. So that's the the major thing about the hardware, and the other will be the the software. Uh, so on the software side, uh, the biggest hurdle is trying to port applications and libraries on a system that doesn't have a memory management unit. So you have to be careful about memory fragmentation, memory leaks, as well as the stack size of the application itself. That's great. So while we're on this same topic, why don't you tell us what's the future of the next few years for the ICON? Uh, we'll stick with the technology that, that we are using, meaning Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Uh, the next uh, few years, we will concentrate on 
developing a mobile app framework so people can easily write a mobile app for their phone and tablet and, and then pair it with our uh, icon and do remote control. Um, also, we will investigate um, other cloud services like for cloud computing and data storage. Uh, and we will focus on doing custom design uh, for people who want to uh, grow uh, a throughbone system with the icon as a module. Um, on the business side, uh, the, 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 the price structure is really driven by the volume. So we will work closely with uh, suppliers like Symmetry Electronics uh, to drive the price down. Great, great. Well, hey, Floyd and Dennis, I want to thank you for your time today showing us your cool product. This is great. Sweet, thanks. Thank you. For those of you that are watching the broadcast right now, you can learn more at semiconductorstore.com. That's semiconductorstore.com, where we interview innovators so that we can bring you really neat stuff, whoever's doing things in wireless and hardware and everything in between. We hope to see you at our website soon. I'm Josh. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the future on a future video. Have a great day.